South-South cooperation with Chinese characteristics. South-South cooperation is a term often used when referring to collaboration between developing nations that is aimed at self-improvement through equality, trust, mutual benefits, solidarity, and cooperation. Since the 1950s, China has prioritized giving foreign aid to other developing countries in the form of economic cooperation. A good example of this cooperation would be the Rubber Rice Pact that China signed with Sri Lanka in 1952 to facilitate the exchange of Chinese rice for Sri Lankan rubber. China has built numerous infrastructure projects globally over the past 65 years and provided technical support alongside as the projects have developed. Aid to countries who need it most. In his September 26th address at the UN Millennium Development Summit, President Xi Jinping outlined the hefty contributions China has made toward global development since the country's establishment in 1949 saying that China has provided 166 countries and international organizations with nearly 400 billion yuan or $62.6 .6 billion in financial assistance and dispatched over 600,000 aid workers. China's foreign aid comes with its own characteristics. First, China tends to focus on the development of the world's least developed countries, while the Development Assistance Committee countries favor more advanced countries. President Xi outlined in his speech at the Development Summit that China will erase the debt of the outstanding intergovernmental interest-free loans due by the end of 2015 owed by the relevant least developed countries, landlocked developing countries, and small island developing countries, an African focus. China has also contributed greatly to the development of the African continent, while the DACs tend to pay more attention to regional organizations. Despite accusations to the contrary made by Western countries, China's foreign aid to African nations is not awarded as the price of admission for resource exploitation. According to Sun Ping, Vice President of the Export-Import Bank of China, of the loans awarded by the bank to more than 500 projects in Africa by the end of 2011, most were awarded to companies involved in infrastructure construction and projects focused on improving the livelihood of locals, with very few involved in resource extraction. During the 2012 meeting of the UN Economic Commission for Africa and the African Union Commission, the two bodies jointly released a report asserting that Africa will be a hugely important pole of global growth in the coming decades. As such, the emphasis of China's foreign aid system is to develop Sino-African cooperation under the philosophy of mutual benefits and win-win cooperation. Asia's renewed economic importance. In 2010, China and ASEAN established the ASEAN-China Free Trade Area, scrapping trade barriers and promoting bilateral economic cooperation in a free trade zone, the world's largest by population. The member states then signed off on upgrading the agreement on November 22, 2015, with the new agreement covering a wide range of areas that include goods and services, investment, and both economic and technological cooperation. China has also pledged $40 billion toward the creation of the Silk Road Fund, which will promote infrastructure projects between China and the countries along the China-led Belt and Road Initiative. In general, China is promoting its new relationship by making full use of tools such as international trade, investment, and finance, strengthening economic links with developing countries while helping them to improve their capacity for development.